hey everyone welcome back to another video so for today's video we are going to be switching out my tray and i'm going to be getting rid of the fragrances that i had on my tray for january and we are going to be setting up our february tray if you are new to my channel welcome my name is amy i do videos on fragrance beauty self-care and body care if you like that type of content don't forget to subscribe before you leave this video and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back how are you guys doing today i am so happy to have you here with me and i appreciate all of the love and support with that said let's go ahead and let's get into this tray video are officially in the month of february how fast did that pass by i feel like the year just started and we are in the second month of the year that is just mind-blowing to me but i'm very very excited to get rid of this tray and start with a new tray i feel like i am just ready for springtime i'm ready for my florals i'm ready for just juiciness and flirtiness and just all of those vibes so as you can see this tray is a little bit more empty than how it started out i have been very very picky with my fragrances decluttering as i go and just keeping the fragrances that just make me super excited and just super in love every single time that i wear them i don't have a doubt in my mind that the fragrances on the tray right now are fragrances that i enjoy and there's still some that I'm a bit iffy about. For example, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Supreme. This one, I have been noticing that it tends to be so beautiful in the opening and I love the way that it opens up. But then after like an hour, I don't smell it on myself. So I really need to play around with this one again and give it a few more chances just to make sure before I make up my mind on this one. But all the other ones i am super super obsessed with and happy with them another one that i'm a little bit iffy about is this vanilla cake by montal just because on my skin it gets a little bit of like a chemical type of scent so i'm not sure what's up with that i don't know if it's just me but i will keep playing around with this one before i decide if to keep it or not but you guys know that i showed my favorites and I had a few of these on my favorites video so you can go check that out so that you can know the fragrances that i loved the most out of the month now i'm gonna go ahead and clean out my tray and we're going to be putting the new fragrances on the tray Alright guys, so let's get started with this tray. I already chose my fragrances so that I didn't have to think about it while I was filming. So I have a very colorful, fun tray for February. I'm super excited about the fragrances and there is a mix, I would say, of like cozy fragrances and then there's a mix of those spring florals. So it's kind of like a transition into spring. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the first fragrance. The first fragrance I'm going to be putting on my tray for February is Black Opium Nuit Blanche. And I am putting this one on the tray because when I reviewed the Black Opium Elissa Green, I pulled this one out to give it a sniff and it just made me want to wear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and have this one out for February so that I can enjoy it. Next up, you guys know that I was iffy with the Lancome Hypnos fragrance. So I'm going to put it on the tray this month to actually give it a full wear, a couple full wears, just to see how I feel about it and whether I want to keep this one in my collection or not. So the next fragrance I'm going to be putting on the tray is Victor and Rolf Bonbon 
pastel, I believe is this flanker. And the reason why I want this on the tray is because I want to make up my mind about this one. I'm actually wearing this one today. And I will say that I'm not in love with it. It's not blowing my mind or anything, but I do remember the first time that I wore it, I really, really loved it. And I love how it projected off my skin and I kept smelling it on myself. But today I'm just getting like this, just this vibe from it that it just doesn't make me feel like girly or feminine with it. It's just a more like, it has like that aquatic kind of like, kind of like if you were standing in front of the ocean or something. I know that this one has like C notes or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I'm just not sure how I feel about this one, but I am going to test it out a little bit more. And my daughter did seem to like it. And she told me that if I didn't want it, that she would take it from me. But I'm not sure if this is okay for her age, so I have I would have to see how it smells on her skin. But I'm pretty sure she would fall in love with the bottle. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be adding Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Skies. I am in love with this fragrance and I just can't wait to start wearing it, to start testing it out, but I do know that I love the scent so, so much. And the only thing that I wish with this one was that it lasted a little bit longer on the skin, but all of Daisy perfumes are not the most long lasting. So at this point, I don't even really expect that from Marc Jacobs, but I just love how pretty this scent is. Next, I'm also going to add the Marc Jacobs Daisy Skies. And this is another one that has very beautiful mineral notes. And I'm just excited to get to know this one better and wear it throughout the month of February. Next up, I'm going to be adding Olympia Paco Raban to my tray. I just, I'm so ready to just fully test this one out because I hauled it and I haven't been wearing it because I was just playing around with other fragrances. So this month I will be fully testing Olympia and just making up my mind about how I feel about it. I went back and forth with it. I absolutely hated this fragrance when I first tried it and then really, really enjoyed it when I tried a sample of it and then I ended up purchasing it. So can't wait to play with this one next up we have so scandal and i am so excited for this one as well this month i'm just adding a lot of fragrances that i recently hauled or recently purchased so this tray is just going to be super exciting because i'm getting to know a lot of new fragrances and just hopefully loving all of them Next up, I'm going to be adding Giorgio Armani's C Intense, the one that was released in 2021. I recently hauled this fragrance and I'm just trying to get to know which one of the C's is the one that I absolutely love the most. So I have been wearing the original C and I have been absolutely loving it. I love C Fiori, I love C Passion, and I do have the C Intense in the black bottle and this one that I need to play with more. So we shall see how it goes with this one. Next up, I'm going to be adding Killian's Rolling in Love, which I think this is going to be my Valentine's Day scent. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I really just picture it being my Valentine's Day fragrance. It's just so beautiful. It's almondy. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And just like a powdery, cozy, cuddling type of fragrance. I really am so excited about this one. Next up, I'm going to be adding Narciso Rodriguez. And this is the Ambre. Ambre. Um, I love the color of this bottle and I really, really enjoyed it, but I haven't worn this one in so many months. So I'm happy to put this one on the tray and give it a few more wears. But from what I remember, I really enjoyed this fragrance so, so much. It was just very like tropical type of florals, but it doesn't really smell super tropical. It just has more of those florals that are used for tropical fragrances, but it just gives me like a very sweet floral 
I believe I also got two rolls from this one, but it's just a really, really beautiful scent. And it's not super musky. I know that a lot of Narciso Rodriguez fragrances are like musk bombs. I think this one's a little bit more on the creamy side with a little bit of musk. Really, really nice fragrance. You guys know that I like to add my celebrity fragrances mixed into my trays. So I picked out four celebrity fragrances for this month. I'm going to go ahead and add them now. I'm going to be adding the Ariana Grande Original Cloud just because I haven't been wearing it a lot lately. So I want to just give this bottle some more love. Next up, I'm going to be adding Jennifer Lopez Still. This is one of my favorite bedtime fragrances or just like everyday fragrances is super comforting relaxing and just pretty but not super sweet it has a little bit of a freshness to it i really adore this fragrance and it has a lot of memories for me as well because i used to wear this one when i was in high school and when i started my first job so that's always what my mind goes to with this fragrance The next celebrity fragrance that I'm going to be adding to the tray is going to be Rihanna's Rebel Fleur Love Always, which is pretty much came out after the original Rebel Fleur, but this one is so much better. I'm scared that it still might be a little bit strong for me because it's pretty much the same fragrance as the Rebel Fleur. It just feels much smoother, and I did get a little bit of a sweetness to it as well. I think I picked up a little bit more of the vanilla in here, I think it was. But I just want to wear it one evening and just see if this one works out better for me. And then the last celebrity fragrance I'm going to be adding is Britney Spears Private Show. This bottle is pretty much halfway done. I'm going to go on a hunt here in Puerto Rico and visit a few perfume shops to see if i could get a bigger bottle of this because i have received comments from you guys letting me know that you have found it here in puerto rico so i'm going to see if i get lucky and get a backup backup bottle of this one up next i'm going to be adding victor and rolf flower bomb nectar i want to fully test this one out and wear it I love how sweet and feminine this one is, but I want to get to know it better and wear it more often. So this month I will be wearing this one. Maybe when I go out to dinner with my husband, we usually go out on Fridays. So I'm going to be picking this one up way more. I'm also going to be adding Dior Pure Poison to my tray. Look at this bottle. Isn't this bottle just so mesmerizing? I feel like I can just look at it and just stare at this one for a while. It is so beautiful and I love this fragrance. It took me a while. At the beginning, I was a little bit iffy. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not, but the dry down to me is so worth it i love it so so much and the opening is not really bad to me it's just a little bit more on the stronger side so if i just don't go crazy spraying this then i should be okay with this one i'm super excited to wear this one let's add a little bit more red and pink tone since it is valentine's day month i'm going to be adding YSL Mon Pari Intense Mint. I love this one and I can't wait to wear this one. I'm, I'm kind of debating between this one for Valentine's Day and Rolling in Love, so I'll see what I end up wearing. But this one is just such a feminine, beautiful fragrance. Up next, another one that I am just in love with, and I'm so happy that Erika Bubalu talked about it. And recently, Tara Michelle has also been talking about this one, Opinionated Scents, here on YouTube. Go check both of them out. I love their channel so, so much. And they have both been talking about this fragrance, and I have added this one to my collection as well. Super excited that I have added this one to my collection, and this is Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. This is going to be in my February tray and best believe I'm going to be wearing this one because this is just a cuddle in a bottle. Like cuddle me, 
just very sweet it has a little bit of sexiness feminine it's like every category wrapped up into a fragrance love it so so much up next i'm going to be keeping kayali's eden on this tray because guys every time that i wear this i love it more and more i pick up a little bit more of the muskiness a little bit more of the florals and it just becomes very intoxicating to me and just so beautiful i think that this is just a beautiful beautiful fragrance especially for upcoming spring next up i'm going to be adding burberry her the original and i haven't worn this one in i would say a couple of months but i do have a pretty good dent on this one i love this fragrance and i've noticed that the longer it has sat in my collection i feel like it's gotten even more like fluffy and powdery and it's just so beautiful and then along with that one i'm going to be adding the burberry her edt which you guys know that i have been loving as well so they're both going to be on my february tray next up i'm going to be adding one of my babies which i love so so much and this is the lancome la vie is belle in rose this is such a beautiful fragrance and i haven't worn this one either in a few months so i was missing it and i just cannot wait to wear it some more it's a little bit warm it's floral you have the la vie is belle dna but it's not as pronounced and the rolls in it is just beautiful i don't i don't remember if this one has raspberry i don't i think it does but it's a beautiful mix of the berries the florals rose and then that la vie is belle dna all right guys so i have three fragrances left and our tray will be done so i'm going to be adding chloe's perfume i told you guys when i hauled this fragrance that this is just a fragrance that brings back a lot of memories i specifically started wearing this a little bit before i started dating my husband i had this property management job that was just my all-time favorite job that i've ever had from the jobs that i've worked and i used to wear this it was pretty much my signature scent my boss always used to compliment me when i would wear this fragrance and it was just very feminine polished very classy and it just went very well with i had to go very well dressed to that job i had to wear dress pants very nice blouse and heels so this just complemented those outfits so so well next up i'm going to be adding valentino's born in roma yellow dream i just think that this fragrance is super sexy and i'm excited to wear it some more And then to finish off the tray, I just wanted to add something a little bit relaxing, a little bit just something that I can put on when I just want to be home and I want to relax. I don't want anything too sweet, too floral, just a nice relaxing scent. And this is Replica's Coffee Break. Absolutely love this fragrance. I love wearing it to bed. I love wearing it at home and it smells so, so good. One of my favorite ones that I have smelled from Replica because it's a little bit difficult for me to get into Replica scents. And there is our tray. I think it looks so beautiful, a mix of a lot of colors, and it looks very springy yet sexy, flirty, fun. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit close-up shots like i always do but before i leave you guys thank you so so much for being here with me today i know that a lot of you guys enjoy this type of video and you find it relaxing so i'm so happy that you get to choose my fragrances for my tray with me like always you guys know that i ask you guys if you're doing a tray which fragrances are you adding to your tray don't forget to subscribe before you leave comment down below give this video a big thumbs up it helps my channel a lot i'm super grateful for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video